Toyota, the Japanese car maker, taking another hit today. Take a look at the stock. It's down about 12% since the company recalled 2 million vehicles more than a week ago. <laughs> Is Toyota's problem a turning point for U.S. automakers? Will we start seeing Ford's auto sales? You just heard from Phil about jumping 35% in January. We're going to see how much of this is due to Toyota. The Japanese car maker taking another hit today. Take a look at the stock. It's down about 12% since the company recalled 2 million vehicles more than a week ago. <laughs> is Toyota's problem a turning point for U.S. automakers? Will we start seeing signs of improvement in today's auto sales? Joining us now is Rebecca Lindley. She's director of the Autos Group at IHS Global Insight. And Phil LeBeau is here as well. Rebecca, good to see you. How much of this jump in Ford, can we attribute any of this to what's been happening with Toyota and them gaining market share as a result. Well, it's a combination of things. You know, it, it happens so late in the month, Toyota's uh, stop sales. So it's hard to say. We took out about 10,000 units from the forecast. But Ford's been having great months. They've got a ton of momentum going into a year that, while it's going to be a little bit soft, it certainly is going to be a lot better than what next. What about from here on out? Can they, can they get market share now? Are people afraid to buy Toyotas? There's a ton of opportunity for everybody. You know, the, the number one global player and the number two guy in the U.S. is out right now. I mean, they can't sell almost 70 percent of their of their share. So, you know, the opportunity is tremendous for other manufacturers. Well, how do the numbers break down in terms of what how much was the retail number? How much was the fleet sale? I mean, can we, de well, can we determine that this is the actually retail a sales rebound by the down. consumer? Keep in mind, January, terrible month. Generally, generally speaking, it's a weak month. They're going against weak comparisons from last year, and we knew it was going to be slow. And we're going to see this from all the automakers. So even though Ford is up 24%, adjusted 35%, fact of the matter is they're still going to see a sales pace that's going to be under 11 million for the industry. Retail sales down 5% year over year. Now, it, it has generally been increasing over the last 13 months for Ford. So the mm -hmm. fact that it's down, it's hard to read into one month and say, well, something's seriously wrong here, uh, especially okay. a weak month. Like, right. January, like January, because things they, they vacillate wildly. It's like when retailers right. get rid of a lot of inventory at the... the Correct. Perspective. Correct. And, and also, you guys were talking yeah. about who yeah. benefits from Toyota. Keep in mind, Honda and Hyundai are the two brands that are most cross-shopped with Toyota. With Toyota. So those guys are going to benefit. Everybody says, Ford's, yet, Ford's going to eat their lunch. I, I, I suspect that we will see benefit more to Honda well, and Hyundai. Rebecca, couldn't Ford actually benefit in part because of the rental? I, I think Toyota and Ford are arch rivals for rental fleets, right? And Toyota's had to step back because of this crisis. Toyota has had to take a, a significant step back, but Ford has done a good job of managing their sales to daily rental fleets. So it's, it's a, playing a part. It's a little bit of an opportunity, but as Phil said, it's actually more of an opportunity for other brands like Hyundai who have really penetrated into fleet sales in the last year. Now you so, said young so we, Toyota customers. Just want, I'm sorry. You said young Toyota customers might be more put off by the safety concerns than older. Can you please explain why young people would be more concerned about safety? Well, <laughs> that's not I'm the reason why. But she'll Toy explain. Toyota's built their reputation on safety, you know, so, and, and they've had decades of goodwill as a result of it. But when you look at how do you grow market share, you grow market share by getting new buyers and conquest buyers, people that own something else. And, and, and historically in the auto business, wow. the youth <clears throat> tend to go different from where their parents went. Because it's not many your of the And many of the baby yeah. boomers in the 70s, and I remember my brother was like this, he's like, I'm not buying a GM, I'm <laughs> buying a Toyota. And, and they bought them because of... i my future they, flash in front of they me. They bought them for reliability. <laughs> you do not, you've never bought Toyota for style. That, that's why that's, my that's question to you, Phil, is, is are, are we witnessing here the fall of Toyota? And I mean no. in this context. This is a company that could do nothing wrong, and even when everybody else was doing everything wrong, they were doing something right. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to, what I want to ask you is, what we see here with this problem with the gas pedals, is it endemic of something different about how Toyota was doing its business, or is it an isolated case? You're not seeing the fall of Toyota, you're seeing the maturation of Toyota. They are now going through the same pains that General Motors and Ford went through when they hit a certain size, and they were continuing to try to grow, right. that you cannot keep your DNA as pristine as, as it was when you were growing but, but, in the 70s. If, that, if that's true, Rebecca, is Toyota at $78 a buy here because it comes back to its great heights, or is this, again, the leading edge, one of the, co the cockroach theory here? I 
can't comment on, on stock <laughs> uh, because I'm not that kind of an analyst, but I do think that their, their future market share is definitely not as rosy as it used to be, even with this issue. And, and they always were facing a lot of challenges because the market is becoming so much more competitive, but you've got this huge wave of Gen Y coming in, and, and they're going to change the entire look of the industry, and this just puts Toyota more vulnerable. Rebecca, Phil, thank you so much. Thank you.